Welcome everybody to Seattle 206723 and we have here with us here today Glenn Goyne, uh, 21 year old, made in the Highlands. This is the uh, box cover here and it comes in this box right here where it sits in a in that nice little circle there and this is a 21 year old matured whiskey natural coloring doesn't say about the chill filtration but it reads Christmas cake honey and fruit rich fruit with a long cinnamon finish perfect after dinner or frankly any time we distill slower than anyone else in Scotland then we mature exclusively in hand selected sherry cast for 21 character building years from Glen Goyne that bottle right there Okay, as some of you have already noticed, there's been a bottle, there's a glass sitting here with some Glen Goyne in it. The rule of thumb is you let it sit for one minute per year of age, and this has been sitting for about 21 minutes now. And of course, this being a elitist whiskey drinker review, we must always use a coaster. There you go. Don't want to break that rule with a 21 year old whiskey, especially from Glen Goyne. Now we're going to go over the smell notes, tasting notes, finish, and I'll tell you what I paid for it and I'll tell you whether I think it's worth it. Um, as you can see, this has been taken down about a quarter of the way. It's something that's very, very high demand in this household already. So, on the nose, picking up the sherry, the fruit, the cinnamon. A little bit of honey and sweetness. But it's definitely European sherry oak. Um, let's see here, it's bottled at 43% APV, so I'm just going to add a slight drop of water to this. See if I can get it to release anything else out of it. Put that to the side there. Okay apple, the ripe apple and the ripe pear. Sherry's a little bit more pronounced. The cinnamon got a little bit more mellow. And that's about it. On the palate, Okay. Very good mouthfeel. You get the sherry. On entry, you get a smooth, a little bit smooth buttery. You get the cinnamon. Mid palate, you're getting your dark fruits. A hint of cocoa. Your ripe apples. Your right pear, and then that sherry comes in after the fruity taste, and the finish is steady and it's smooth um, with that cinnamon. But I'm still developing that fruity ripe fruits with a slight hint of cocoa going through. Now, 
I'm going to tell you guys something I do, and I'm not going to make this video much longer. I like to do it like that, squish it around, then drop it for the reviews. When I'm sipping, and I just want to enjoy it, what I like to do personally, your whiskey, you drink it the way you want to drink it. What I like to do is, is just sip and let it sit. That's just the way I like to do it, because then the filtration and the disbursement of the um, of the um, taste starts to filter slowly, slowly, slowly um, through my tongue to the facet. Uh, I don't want to get too technical, but the parasympathetic uh, nerves to the brain start to filter it, you know, carefully. But let's just see. It's still finishing, actually, but let's go with this way. Oh yeah, that way I can come back and say it's it's got the right pears, banana on that one. It's still finishing with the development into that spice with the cinnamon a little bit of nutmeg and a nice warm finish now I paid $125 $124.99 for this particular bottle for a 21 year old 750 milliliters 75 centiliters for those in the UK and I think for $125, yeah, definitely worth it. What is Seattle 206723? And I'm out.